Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss an upload, more you down and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today I thought we could do a bit of a Q&A. So last time I did a Q&A there, there was so many questions that I just couldn't answer all of them in a single video. ever look back at your old videos if so how do they make you feel i watch back vlogs i don't watch sit down videos back because they're cringe worthy and i've changed so much and so much more has improved that i just can't watch them but vlogs i do watch back and to be perfectly honest a lot of them make me quite sad because these people are no longer in my life so it's quite a saddening thing really Obviously we have great memories, and the memories are what matters. What are your favourite fidget toys? Easy. Tangle toys. This is to replace one that's broke. I just need to open it. Do you think the police need more training in dealing with mental health and autism? Definitely. Now as you know I'm replied to be a police officer, I've got to do my fitness test. Oh lord help me. I don't know how I'm supposed to do a beep test with the torn tendon but <laughs> time will tell. But yeah they definitely need more training especially with autism. They're not very well they're not very qualified with mental health but they're, they're worse with autism. Does having a platform revolving around your mental health keep you in your mental illness more than if you didn't? Well I'm more just documenting my life on here, really. I'm not really... I'm not going out my way to live in my mental illness. I'm just documenting things as it happens. So... I'd say no. What's something you wish people understood about you? That I'm not my mental illness. And... Yes, I talk about mental health on here. It's a mental health YouTube channel, that's what I do. And I'm glad I do that. I enjoy doing that. I also go ice skating. If you haven't seen that, I'll link the playlist up there. I read books. I recently got four new books to read. And I'm going to be reading The Crimson Moth. Oh, there's so much more to me than my mental health. So yeah, definitely that. Is there anything you regret making public? Yes. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want to draw more attention to it. But there's one part of my trauma that I wish I hadn't shared. Because honestly it's just caused more hassle than it's worth. How long have you been self-harm free? Um, let me check my app. One year, four months, 25 days, 19 hours, 5 minutes and 37 seconds. What is the hardest thing for you to cope with? My PTSD. Star sign? Sagittarius. Favourite hair colour? On me, pink. I say that now I've got purple hair that I dyed on Monday. But you know, what are you going to do about I've got pink hair down, I just didn't want to bleach my hair. I also like blue. I think blue looks pretty cool. Do you have a favourite video game? Yes I do. It's not really a video game, it's looking after dogs. But <laughs> it's my favourite Switch game and Switch is the only console I have. I do have a PlayStation 3 in my mom. My mom. What's your favourite series? Orange is the New Black. Do you have a comfort item? I do indeed. Mm. My baby. Mr Unicorn comes everywhere with me. In a handbag. I do wish he was a bit smaller though. 
and let's be able to take a smaller handbag out. So yeah, now I've answered all the questions that have been asked. Finally. Um, if you have any questions to ask me, comment it down below or go to one of my social media pages and place it there. You can DM me. I keep these anonymous because I don't know if everyone wants their names out in public. So I don't put them in public. Thank you for watching and if you're new, subscribe, join the growing family and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.